In this lecture, we are going to see on fiber fineness experiment. This is a part of fiber and yarn quality evaluation laboratory or textile quality evaluation laboratory. Uh, fiber fineness is measured in micrograms per inch. Uh, we'll see air flow type of instrument in this uh, video. So let us see the instrument. Uh, first, we need a weighing balance of 10 milligram accuracy. And we need to weigh 3.24 grams of fiber, uh, which is 50 grains of fiber. The instrument that is used for fiber fineness testing is airflow instrument. Let us see the fiber fineness tester uh, through this video. The instrument has compression cylinder with perforated ends for admission and also the discharge of air wherein we will place the uh, compression plunger for uh, while placing the sample and master plunger while uh, calibration. There are other valves, uh, calibration screw for, con uh, for calibrating and the uh, pressure gauge for adjusting the pressure. Then uh, there is an air pump and the air pressure is maintained through that. Instead of air pump here in our instrument, there is a centralized uh, comp uh, compressor from which the air comes in, uh, which uh, will, we will not see in this video. Let us look into the instrument in the laboratory. Let us look at the fineness tester. This is the right side of the instrument. This is the front. And this is the left side of the instrument. Airflow instrument fiber fineness tester. On the back side you can see the green color pipe with the handles. This is the air line uh, which comes to the instrument. This is the plunger. This is the air line. This is the place where the air comes inside through this tube. And in between there is a pressure gauge. This is the pressure gauge wherein you can measure the pressure of the air that is coming inside. The instrument, this tube gets air from this air line shown in the picture here. Uh, this is the on, air is let in when it is parallel, when it is perpendicular, air is closed on this tube, air comes to the pressure gauge here. After switching the air line, the first thing that has to be done is setting the uh, air pressure at 2 bar. The first setting that has to be done in the instrument after switching the air line and letting the air in is to set the pressure of the air that is coming inside. The air comes in through the left tube and goes out to the instrument through the right tube of this pressure gauge. The pressure has to be set at 2 bar. This is the closed position, opening and rotating clockwise to increase the pressure and rotating anti-clockwise to reduce the pressure. Now the pressure is adjusted to be set at 2 and then locked. Now locking by pressing in. Next is calibration of the instrument. The next is the calibration of the instrument. The blue color is the calibration uh, adjustment screw. The blue color one, you can see the blue color is the calibration adjustment screw. The technician is holding the compression chamber wherein the sample has to be placed and above that the plug has to be placed. Before that now we need to calibrate the instrument. 
So for calibrating, cali take the calibration plug. This is the calibration plug or the master plug. And the calibration has to be done for 5 micronair. So it will be written on the calibration plug. You can view the calibration plug now. So this is how the calibration plug looks. There is a hole uh, through which the air passes for 5 micronair. There is another plug, the compression plug or compression plunger. You can see the number of holes at the bottom. Uh, below this will be cotton fiber in the chamber and above which you will place this plug through which the air passes and comes out. You can view the compression plunger or compression plug. You can see. You, this, this will be placed in the compression chamber after placing the sample and locked. This plug should not be used for calibration. Use this calibration plunger or master plug and insert it into the compression uh, chamber as shown in the figure now, in the video now. You can see a black color knob on the right hand side of the chamber. Uh, this has to be uh, switched on for air flow and check the float for position 5. After switching on, adjust the calibration screw like this and see the position of the float and adjust it to the 5. It has to be set to 5. You have to adjust and the top position of the float. See the top position of the float. This is the float and the top position of the float should match with 5. Uh, when you keep the master plug in the compression chamber, switch on and when you adjust the screw, it should be adjusted to be the in position 5. Top position of the float should be in 5. You can see it here. After adjusting, you can switch off. It is an on position. Right side is on. And you can see if for the master plug 5, it has to be, it has to show position 5 here. Switch off and take off the master plug. Take it out like this and keep it down. This plug. We will look into the procedure once again step by step. First switch on the air flow from the compressor. Set the pressure of 5 bar in the pressure gauge. Identify the master or calibra calibration plunger or plug in which 5 will be marked and this has to be calibrated for 5 micronair. Insert the calibration plunger into the compression chamber. Switch on the instrument by turning the knob uh, which has the handle in black color. Adjust the blue color calibration screw to set the float. The, that is the top position of the float should match with the reading 5. Now switch off the knob with the handle in black. Take off the calibration plunger from the compression chamber. So, let us go into the sample preparation. This is the sample preparation. The cotton fiber has to be opened well. The trash uh, has to be removed well opened. You can see the technician opening the fibers, removing trash, the identifying the trash and the removing the trash and seed particles. And no uh, part in the sample should be be left unopened. You can see a bunch of sample being opened well here. You can see the weighing balance here. Uh, you, this has to be tarred first to zero and then the sample has to be weighed. See to that the scale is in zero. Tar it. See ensure zero in the reading. And then place the well opened and clean sample on the tray in the 
weighing balance. The open sample is placed here and 3.24 grams has to be exactly weighed. 3.24 grams is actually 50 grains. So open the sample 3.24 grams. Adjust again. Do not press the tray. Gently handle the uh, weighing balance and see to that the Weight is exactly 3.24 grams. Now it is nearing. It is 3.24. Now you can see the two plungers and the compression chamber. You can see the compression chamber close look. You have holes inside. Now take the co cotton sample that is weighed already 3.24 grams. Open it and place it in bunches like this. Small small bunches opened and placed inside the compression chamber. Press it then take the compression plunger and Lock it like this and switch on the knob, black knob. And note the top position of the float. Now the top position shows 4.4. Now switch off and take off the plunger. Slight opening will push the cotton outside. Then take the next sample. Open the sample like this and place the fibers in the compression chamber. I am showing this from the other side. Closer look. Place the compression plunger and lock it. And switch on the black knob. And see the position of the float. The position of the float is showing uh, top position 4. Let us look into the procedure once again. Weigh 3.24 grams or 50 grains of cotton sample after opening it well with the weighing balance of accuracy of 10 milligram. Next place the test cotton sample that is weighed already in the fiber compression chamber or cylinder in small portions at a time and take care that all the fiber are placed inside the chamber. Next insert the compression plunger in position in the fiber compression cylinder and lock it. Allow air to flow by turning on the knob with the handle in black color. Allow the air to flow through the cotton sample and note the top position of the float. Uh, read the air flow to an accuracy of half a division of the scale. See to that you match the reading. If it is in between, take it as a 0.5 reading. Close the air flow by turning off the knob. Remove the test cotton sample from the Compression cylinder. Note the reading in the tabular column. Then open out the next cotton sample and repeat the steps 2 to 8 shown here. And continue this for uh, the n number of samples. Usually it is 5, sam uh, five samples for one variety. And next you can take 5 more samples for the other variety. And you can compare two varieties average reading. This is the line diagram of the instrument. We have the air line which uh, we had a green color uh, uh, pipe. Here foot pedal and air filter are given. This is a Shirley type of instrument but instead of the foot pedal and air filter we have the compressor uh, which we did not see in the video. Uh, from pressure gauge we saw um, we saw the pressure gauge wherein we set in a pressure of 2 bar. Then the shutoff valve, the air regulator and then the calibration screw which we saw in blue color. 
and this is the float wherein there is a scale to show the readings. The red color is the float. There was a, a float position control. I didn't show in the video that you will not use. The air uh, goes through the um, float tube where the uh, tube uh, has the float. The air passes through that tube and then the air passes through the uh, compression chamber. The right side is the compression chamber wherein you place the plug of cotton and the red color dotted line is the compression cylinder with the, uh, wherein the air flows outside. Based on the amount of uh, fineness of the fiber, uh, the air flows. If the fineness of the fiber is, is very fine, then uh, uh, less air flows. If the fineness of the fiber is uh, uh, coarser, then uh, more air flows out. So the float raises up if it is a coarser fiber. The float position is uh, lower if it is a fine fiber. So this is the tabular column in which you have to fill in. Uh, we have noted two readings. One first reading was 4.4 and next reading was 4. Similarly, you can note the other readings and take the average standard deviation and uh, coefficient of variation. And if your average reading is uh, uh, up to 3.1, then the uh, fiber is rated as very fine. If the value of uh, the average is 3.1 to 3.9, then it is a fine fiber. If the average is 4 to 4.9, then it is a medium fiber. If the uh, reading is 5 to 5.9, then it is a slightly coarse fiber. If the micronet value is above 6, then it is a coarse fiber. So this is the how you have to enter the results. The average SDCV for sample 1 and sample 2 if it is there or else only if it is only one sample you can leave it like that. And then uh, the sample 2 average standard deviation coefficient of variation and rating. This micronire value or microgram per inch can be converted into linear and decitex using the conversion and then those values also have to be entered in the results. Thank you.